Hello and welcome to a very special episode of KT One on One. My name is Abhishek Sengupta and you are watching um, an episode that you probably had been waiting for. Now, not every day we are in conversation with uh, a minister, but now today we have someone in the hot seat who's not just a minister. He is in true sense of the word, a real mover and shaker of the government, someone who's held many hats, who's been a Minister of Railways in the Indian government, Minister of Renewable Energy, Minister of Textiles, Minister of Food Security, and of course, uh, arguably the most important one, Minister of Commerce and a Trade. Mr. Piyush Koel, Your Excellency, thank you for joining us today in this very special uh, interview for Khalij Times. Uh, before we get, get deep dive into the conversation, of course, first question you're here, to open uh, or inaugurate the India Pavilion at the Expo 2020 Dubai. I'm sure that must be the start of many things you've planned for your short stay here in, in the UAE this time. Well, this has been an absolutely fabulous day. Mm. Ever since I landed in the UAE, we've had so many engagements. It's been like a roller coaster ride, but probably one of my most productive overseas visits. I would like to thank uh, the government and the people of UAE for the warm hospitality and for really giving that special treatment to India over, uh, of course, many years, but more particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic and at the Expo 2020. We've been given pride of place, a very strategic location. We've been given a large piece of uh, land We've been given permission to continue to operate after six months when the expo ends. Mm -hmm. And on our part, I have personally invested a lot of time and uh, effort monitoring our Dubai Expo participation literally on a weekly basis. Yeah. Because I do believe that this Dubai Expo 2020 is the harbinger of better times to come in the post-pandemic world. My compliments to the leadership uh, to the Vice President and uh, Prime Minister of uh, UAE, to all the leaders who have put in a lot of effort and the grand show that we saw mm. on 30th, the inaugural of the Expo, our own humble effort to have a, a good uh, inaugural function yesterday on the very first day of the Expo and reciprocating the gestures of the UAE leadership we wanted to open on day one right. and show that we are there with the government of the UAE we stand shoulder to shoulder with them we want this expo to be a grand success and we see in this visit particularly also after the high level task force on investments meeting this morning where some extremely positive vibes were felt and experienced on both sides. We deeply appreciate all the support of the UAE. They have expressed some very, very kind words for India's role in the early days of the pandemic, whether it was supply of food, foodstuffs, medicines, vaccines, whether it was keeping the supply lines and supply chains open. Truly, I think this relationship that Prime Minister Modi and His Highness have developed over the last uh, few years ha has just grown from strength to strength to, to real brotherhood between the people of the two countries. I must also add that the love and affection you showered on the three and a half million Indians who are working and living in UAE is deeply appreciated back home in India. While many people from across the world wanted to rush back home we did not receive a single call from an Indian in the UAE. Right. They were so well taken care of. Yeah. And to all your viewers and to all the people of UAE, a big thank you from India. You had a press briefing before this and you uh, addressed the general media and you did mention a few landmark uh, sort of announcements uh, earlier today. If you can quickly sum up for us, uh, obviously I heard the fact that ENBD, Emirates NBD, which is a leading bank, here in the UAE is now going to start operations in India. That should be the start of many uh, such plans where you see UAE companies coming to, to India. Well, the response 
to come and invest in India, to do business in India, give us the benefit of some of the wonderful work that has happened in particularly in Dubai and in the UAE in general has been truly overwhelming. I do believe that uh, post-COVID, the level of investments in India, particularly after the meeting with Sheikh Hamid this morning, will see a significant jump to the extent that he has expressed a desire that we all work towards many more offerings to the UAE to invest in roads, to invest in highways, to invest in brownfield projects, mm. to invest in uh, the, the monetization plans that India is going forward with. There's, there are many companies in the UAE which are looking to expand in infrastructure, logistics, real estate in different parts of India. I was pleasantly uh, happy to note about the deep interest in expanding uh, in Jammu and Kashmir mm. that many companies express today. I was uh, hugely impressed by some of the ideas that were thrown to me by companies like DP World, MR, the Lulu Group and hearing all of them Yes. My own sense is that the comprehensive economic partnership agreement that we are working towards and the possible strengthening of the bilateral investment treaty, the BIT between the two countries are going to play a very important role in doubling trade between the two countries, in expanding investments particularly from UAE to India and possibly also from India to UAE very rapidly. Uh, Prime Minister Modi and His Highness had uh, actually set a target of 75 billion dollars. I can actually see that happening before my eyes now. We've resolved all legacy issues largely to the best of our ability. Today also we have decided to resolve a few pending issues uh, uh, expeditiously. And I did comment to Sheikh Hamid that really hearing the kind of issues that we are discussing, they are not ministerial issues at all. We have, we have now to look at growth and these are issues which our officials could as well finalize. And I must say, the UAE ambassador to India, uh, Dr. Albana, and our ambassador to the UAE, uh, Mr. Pawan Kapoor, and their teams are truly doing a wonderful job between the two countries. Thank you, Minister Piyush Goyal, for talking to us. Thank you for your time Thank this you. evening. And hopefully we'll get into a conversation very soon again.